Hi everyone, welcome to Meditate in May and your short five minute guided practice. Before we get into it today, I wanna to speak a little bit about instinctive meditation. So there's many different ways to define meditation and what I love so much about instinctive meditation is there's this idea that for all the people on the planet, there's perhaps that many ways to meditate. And so what we'll be exploring together throughout the month of May is a variety of, its, of techniques that come from the lens of instinctive meditation to hopefully find a practice a way that works for you and that is sustainable so you can create a daily meditation practice. So one way to think about meditation is savoring the thrill of aliveness. That's one of my favorite ways to define meditation. Another way you might think of meditation is a relaxed, alert state. So let's just sit with those for today and then we'll enter our first five minute practice together. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna have you take about 30 seconds or so here to move your body if you feel the call to move your body. So in the beginning, at least for, again, for today, at least the first 30 seconds, this, this idea of being as natural as possible with ourselves. So there's no forcing of your eyes to close. There's no need to sit in this like perfect posture. It's like, what does your body need in this moment? Do you want to move your body? Do you actually want to keep your eyes open? Does it feel forceful to close your eyes down, to, to enter this time with no force, no restraint on whatever it is that you might need in the context of preparing for some meditation time. So you'll notice for me, I tend to naturally close my eyes down when I, when I guide a practice or when I practice on my own, but this is not um, in any way saying that this is the, the perfect way or your way to do this. So let's take, I don't know, just another 10 seconds or so checking in with your body. If it feels enticing to settle into a seated shape or a laying down shape or a, a steady standing shape, feel free to do that. If it feels more inviting to stretch or continue to move your body, there's all the permission from me to you, please you to yourself to listen to that cue, to not say no to body motion if that is needed or desired. And we enter this time with this welcoming, accepting, like open embrace of, of all the different parts of ourselves. So what I mean by that is if we could say yes, say yes to the flood of thoughts, say yes to whatever sounds are in your environment, to say yes to whatever feelings or emotions or desires, cravings that you might be having. So we might not act on any of those things in the space of our meditation time, but in this sort of safe container that we're creating for ourselves, we just say, yes, I welcome my thoughts. There's no need to try to halt any thoughts, just like a welcoming open attitude towards thoughts and any sensations in your body. You might even tune in to one of to one of your senses, this idea of what am I seeing right now or what am I hearing right now? And to not think of this as a distraction, but just as a, as a part of the flow, as a part of the rhythm of life, a part of what you're experiencing right now, we're just saying yes to that. You might notice that rhythm of your breath, not in a, a half to way or again of a forceful way, but just like, wow, this is interesting. I can feel that touch of the air coming in and out of my nose. You might notice different sensations in your body inside, different sense of expansion or release as you breathe in and out. And this fundamental doorway we'll use today is just answering this question, letting any visuals, any thoughts come to mind when I ask you, what do you love so much? What's a part of your lived experience that you love so much you would, 
be so delighted and excited to bring that memory back or to go right back to that, that time, that place, those people, those smells, those sights, the beauty. So I want you to take 30 seconds and just like merge with, bask in, savor the flood of memories or that one memory that's coming to mind. What, what do I love so much? I want to be there. I want to go back. What's that exciting? What's that delicious? That delightful that I actually want to go back and be there. And let's remember this welcoming attitude towards yourself, all the different parts, whatever is circulating inside of you. Allowing for that flow. Try not to restrict yourself in any way in this space of your meditation time. And let's bring our awareness back to this body and any sensations you can feel happening inside of you, that sense of blood flow or circulation, any sense again of expansion or release as you're breathing, any subtle differences from when you began this short practice to now, anything that you can sense and, and feel that's that's true, not needing to make anything up, just like, what's going on? This curiosity towards yourself. And start to tune into to the environment once again. So if your eyes have been closed, I'll encourage you to open your eyes. If your eyes have been open, you might scan the environment. You might give a little stretch once again, but we take this transition time. So we're not going to hop right on our phones. <laughs> We're going to just kind of recall, reflect what that was like for you. If you wanted more time or less time, if that was really, really challenging or felt very luxurious and you wanted more, just like what's true, what's real. Hmm. You might recall what's coming next in your day, yet staying here and not rushing towards that. Again, any sort of body motion, stretching, wiggling out. This is also a good time if you're a journal, if you're a journaler, you like to take some notes. If anything came up, this is a good time to do that. Have a little sip of water. Hmm. Very good. So let's take just a short breath together in and out of the nose to end our time. A quiet breath in and a quiet breath out. So thank you so much for, for being here with me today. Look forward to practicing more throughout this month together. We'll find, you'll be able to find more classes here on the YouTube channel, weekly guided practices on the podcast as well. And as always, you can find links to all the resources, all the things that you would want to know, need to know to continue to follow along. You can find all of that in the description of this class. And I would love to hear from you. Where are you in the world? Where are you practicing from? Was this challenging for you? Was it easy? Do you have any questions? Feel free to leave a comment and I will get right back to you. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.